Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess. Today is February 9th, 2016. In the last video I did, titled um, Bombshell Honeypot, something like that, um, I did the short version. I want to give you an explanation of everything that I've found. On my other account, Cod Goddess here, I did a video titled What You're Not Supposed to Know About Benghazi. In that video, uh, I show you why we killed Gaddafi. Okay, and I'll let you see a little bit of that. But some are convinced intervention in Libya is all about currency, specifically Gaddafi's plan to introduce the gold dinar, a single African currency made from gold, a true sharing of the wealth. Okay, actually, Gaddafi had quite a few meetings at the UAE, with, um, in the United Arab Emirates, and he was trying to get on the gold currency and use the dinar to trade exclusively in gold you know over the planet to get away from the petrodollar because it's a fiat currency and they know across the globe all the leaders across the globe know that our politicians are um, bleeding us dry and stealing everything we have so anyway I did that video and then I did a video why is US and NATO in Syria well, of course, the reason we're in there, I did it based on this article here. The reason we're in there in Syria is because I believe it was 2008. I'm just going by memory here. I could be wrong, but it, it's close to it. In 2008, I think it was I, I ran and Syria went off of the petrodollar to trade their oil. I believe that's why we are banging up Syria right now, and this article does say it. Right now, the U.S. dollar makes up two-thirds of the world's global reserve currency. This is because nearly every oil-exporting country in the world exclusively sells their oil in dollars. So nations are forced to hoard large amounts of the dollar. There are two countries that don't sell their oil in the dollar, and that's Syria and Iran. If these two countries joined forces, got Venezuela on their side, maybe a few other countries that made an economic treaty with the BRICS nations, an acronym for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, to buy their oil in a currency other than the U.S. dollar, the economy would collapse. That is what we are on our way to right now. The economy is about to collapse. Our government knows this. They know they're responsible for this. They know that we have no gold. Anyway, I'm going to continue reading the article so you can understand because they, t whoever did this is very, very well written. All countries in the world would send their massive hordes of the dollar back to the Fed in exchange for whichever currency replaces it. The value of the dollar would shrink dramatically and the Fed would be forced to take steps to shrink the money supply to stand massive inflation. That's what's going to happen. What they're going to do, what the Federal Reserve will do before this hits is raise the um the interest rate when you raise the interest rate of course people stop borrowing money that means they will be bringing money back in they will hold on to the money okay anyway back to this raising of the federal funds rate would mean that there would be there would not be enough new loans created to pay off old loans, which is necessary because there is always more debt in the economy than there is money because money is created with interest attached. From the very beginning, we are all indebted to a small cabal that sits behind the Federal Reserve. We are slaves, America. We are slaves. We are slaves to the United States of America, Inc., a corporation. The defaulting of loans would lead to a chain reaction that would collapse the $70 trillion derivatives market. In addition, the Fed wouldn't be able to mindlessly pump money into the economy anymore, such as with their current policy of quantitative sleazing, I call it. Um, in 2001, Iraq began selling their oil in the euro. We invaded. Saddam Hussein got killed. In 2010, Gaddafi proposed a new currency called the gold dinar to replace the dollar for oil sales. We bombed the shit out of his country and caused a regime change. Now we're doing it to Syria. Uh, here we go. Syria moved away from the dollar in 06 and Iran in 08. So I was close. That is what this is all about. Okay. Now, 
this was a, uh, another article on Saddam Hussein. So we know that. Now, all you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, to connect these dots, and it's so very simple, there's no work to it at all. All you got to do is go to Pacific Patriots. Let me scroll up. They're so busy here. All you got to do is go to Pacific Patriots Network. The 3%, well, the Pacific Patriots Network, which 3% is part of, Oath Keepers, just look at all they did. They've been very busy people, very busy people. They went to um, White Hope Mine, okay? White Hope Mine. I'll let you listen to this. And mining, this is another operation. Uh, we won at the Sugar Pine Mine. We won at the Sugar Pine Mine. So they won at the sugar pine mine. Then what happened? Um, White Hope mine, okay? Uh, Montana. They won there, okay? And I'm telling you, the Obama administration is furious about this. So if you just look at their website, let's see. What happened was that this is when, in 2015, around the time of Jade Helm, listen to me, around the time of Jade Helm, you will notice that there was a, right here, August 10th, 2015, the Pacific Patriot Network and the owners of the White Hope Mine are at, are at the focus of a misinformation campaign. This campaign negatively shapes the media narrative. Now, see, that was right after we get a, the, the militia gets a supply route, okay? This is subversion. This is infiltration done purposely by the Obama administration through Jade Helm, through Jade Helm. There's a connection here. I don't care what anybody says. I see it clear as day. Anyway, Operation Big Sky has achieved its primary objective. They won again. Okay, the Obama administration is pissed, pissed. Court, uh, here we go, Montana's Mo Montana miners move ahead with lawsuit after court rolls with them. Oh my gosh, pissed. They are pissed. And can you imagine how pissed off Harry Reid is? No wonder LaVoy Finnicum is dead. Now, I'm going to go another step further. I just heard, before getting on here, Pete Santilli did a video, okay? Listen to what he said. I'm not going to play it because um, he was on a phone call from jail. And um, I'll just read, because I, I, I transcribed it. I'm just going to read the pertinent points, okay? Confidential sources reveal to me documentation which exposed corruption conspiracy to run ranchers such as the Hammond family off their land, farmers, miners, and Native Americans. They are rich in uranium, lithium, and other minerals, and they are doing so on behalf of these corporations and investors. We have documentation of such. I think he said that. I'm not sure. The such part, this, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. We got the gist of what's going on. So he was on to this, okay? Now, if we don't do something, it's a honey trap. I'm sorry. It's the truth. I'm not going to lie. It's a honey trap. This is about money. So we, we know that, first of all, our government is corrupt as shit, okay? And um, we were corrupt with Bush and every other freaking president since before then. There's no left and right. Let's be honest. There's no Republicans and Democrats when you're talking about politician. They're all liars, and none of them work for us. I have been in the Tea Party since my awakening in 2007. Well, since it began, actually, 2008. And I have been to massive rallies, tons of them. I have hours and hours of footage of the rallies that I have been to. I have um, been to my, um, I've been to my senators, my congressmen, my local government offices. None of them listen to me, okay? I can identify completely with what Ammon Bundy did. But what's even worse is he's been through like a hundred times worse than me, perhaps a thousand. 
I have just been protesting and bitching about things that are happening. Um, M and Bundy, Lavoy Finnicum, the Hammonds have been through much, much worse. This is their livelihood at stake. This is their property at stake. And it just so happens, it just so happens that these people's livelihood, the Hammonds, the Bundys, uh, the Finnicums, their livelihood affects each and every one of us. And it affects us because they, we, I eat meat. I love steak. I love burgers. Not only that, but, but from what I understand, the, the cows are used for like cosmetics and, and lots of other things that come out of them. So this is very important. This is very important. Now, instead of our government being honest with us, and this is my take on it, instead of our government being honest with us, we have a corrupt government. And we always have. So if, if this happened and let's say I were the president and, you know, it's going to be outed that we have no gold, that, you know, all this is going on, um, I would just be honest with my people and I would say, look, we're out of gold. Okay. This, you got uranium on your property. You know, I'll, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a good slice of it. You'll be wealthy. If uh, I'll give you another farm area in another place that doesn't have uranium on it, you can use your cattle. You, yeah. I mean, you can keep a farm, a different farm. We will move you, blah, blah, blah. They, they're not going to do that. They want to assassinate everybody. Now, this is what's important. This is what I really want to say. If we don't stand up, if we don't do anything, this is going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Instead of being shot in the head, we're going to be starved. Because they're trying to take out all, all of the ranchers, all of the farmers. Let Monsanto do it. And whether you believe it or not, it's freaking true. It's in the agenda. Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. It's in the agenda. It's written in plain as day what's going to happen. So you need to understand whether I use the term honeypot or not. It's imperative that everyone understand the, the severity of this and the severity being our government is extremely corrupt and the severity also being that <laughs> look what happened to Lavoy, and they did that. They did that to send a big giant message. That's what they did. And I looked at that message and it made me want to do more than I have ever done in my lifetime. And I'm thinking, and I will do something. I don't know what it is yet. For right now, I'm going to do what I do best and that's connect dots. So I will be constantly connecting dots and do everything that I possibly can in memory of Lavoie Finnicum for Pete Santilli, who did nothing but his job. For little Victoria, I feel so horrible for that beautiful little angel with the voice of an angel. For Shauna Cox, she, I, I can't imagine what that woman's going through. Yes. I mean, really, for all of these people, for um, Ryan Payne, Ryan Payne, he is being bashed on YouTube. It's incredible. And to me, when they, when somebody gets bashed like that, to me, it's because they're a freaking stand-up person. That's just me. Ritzheimer. Uh, I don't even know who it was. I think it was Ritzheimer in that one. I was watching on Pete Santilli uh, during the one town hall meeting. Ritzheimer was, you know, all these people in that town hall meeting before they had any kind of enlightenment on the Constitution. Ritzheimer was getting pissed off. Well, I'll tell you what. I think the man showed a lot of restraint because if I would have been in there, I would have been screaming at them. Look, you idiots. But anyway. So that's the deal. Petrodollar, it's going to be lost. And, and I'm telling you, you guys better start getting your supplies ready. I've got mine. I don't have a lot, though. But, you know, you can only do what you can do, right? 
but we need to stand together. We need to help these people retain their property or make sure they are reimbursed for whatever they have. They should have a choice to do what they want. Pete Santilli, uh, especially, oh my gosh, Ammon Bundy, I, I, I want him to be my president. I'm serious. Ammon Bundy for president because he has made such a huge, bold step and he is so intelligent and he gets his point across so incredibly well. I, I, we have got to get these people out and we mainly have got to take care of this thing with the minerals and the petrodollar. And we got to figure out a way to expose this because you know that when you turn on that TV, um, it's owned by the very people that we are up against. Anyway, I just wanted to get you on, in on that and let you know what I'm up to. And um, I'm searching, researching, and doing the best I can with what knowledge I have, which is very little. But I'm trying. And um, this is Call of Duty Goddess signing off. And as always, I've got your six.